Hey you guys, what is up? Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, my name is Danielle. Hello, some people call me Danny. I love when people call me Danny, but it's whatever. <laughs> today I'm standing up because I have more energy today and I just need to let it flow, so I hope that's okay with you guys. Subscribe down below if you guys want. I'm posting every day of December, whether that's a vlog or just like a fun little video. However, today I'm gonna be talking about the things I'm loving, whether that's beauty products, a lot of fashion, I'm really into fashion right now, music, kind of just everything. It's gonna be a fun video. I love videos like this. I love seeing what other people are loving. It's just a good time. So I'm gonna attempt to do this in categories where I basically talk about like beauty and then fashion and then life. We're gonna see how this goes because I'm kind of a mess. I'm also in the middle of finals. So I'm just like, my mind's a lot of places, but it's okay that I thrive off of having too much to do. It's probably a toxic trait, but like, here we go. <laughs> um, so yeah, I will have everything linked down below for you guys to check out anything I talk about. I wanna have linked down below so you guys can easily go find it for yourselves. And yeah, these are overall just things I think that will improve your quality of life. They have improved mine at least. If I didn't say this already, definitely subscribe down below. I'm posting new videos every day. It would mean a lot to have you part of the, the Dan fam, if you will. And also follow me on Instagram at Danielle Carolyn. I'm always posting like outfit of the days and Instagram stories. I love Instagram stories. They're so much fun. So without further ado, let's get started first with beauty. So the first item that's beauty related or might actually be the only beauty related product because I don't experiment much in that department. Let's see. Yeah, th this is it. <laughs> the Tan Lux Tanning Water, you guys. Also, I'm gonna try and be a fancy YouTuber today, and instead of like holding it up and like trying it, I'm gonna have like separate clips of the products, close-ups. Yeah, it's okay. It's okay, no pictures, please, it's fine. I'm just trying to be cool. But this stuff has changed my life for the better. I haven't used it on my body. It's definitely just like a self-tanner that you can use on your body as well. However, um, I get spray tans every now and again, and sometimes I feel like the face tan comes off a little bit faster than the rest of the body but if you like self tan your body but you don't want to put like the self tan on your face I think the tanning water is a great option it is awesome literally I just take it I spray it all over my face usually before I go to bed honestly like I'll wait like 10 minutes before I go to bed because I don't want to like ruin it but let it dry you spray it on you take this little tanning mitt you just blend it in just a little bit and you wake up and your face has just like the best glow ever and I love it. It like blends, there's no like harsh lines. Cause I found with um, like drops for me personally, I can like see like a total difference, like my neck and my face and it's just not, it's just not cute. I haven't had that problem with the tanning water which makes me wanna try tanning water on my full body. If you guys have done that, definitely let me know down below cause that's a lot easier than like getting a spray tan. Um, I just enjoy being tan, so yeah. Next up kind of lifestyle favorite, I have to, I have to say it my planner, my planner with doing well daily. I am in love with it. It's just like, I literally curated and created that planner with Sydney at doing well daily to be something that I would want to use every day. So like, obviously it's gonna be something I love and I think a lot of you guys are gonna love it. We sold out in one hour in our first drop, which was like so exciting and I'm so thankful for y'all's support. And I'm honestly just genuinely excited for you guys to get yours. All the um, books from the first shipment, I believe are out like for, delivery or not for delivery but like she shipped them all out already so that's really exciting and as you guys are watching this so if you're watching this the day it comes out this video comes out on a saturday tomorrow sunday 4 p.m eastern standard time we are restocking and i'm so excited well, i feel like a lot of people were really sad and they were worried they weren't gonna get a chance to get the planner but so many people loved it so much and i think there's definitely a lot of demand for it still and the beauty of this planner is that you can pick it up whenever it doesn't have to be i use it every day because i don't use it every day i didn't use it yesterday i was not in the mood i didn't have a lot to do yesterday so i just didn't use it and that's completely fine it's just such a great way to start your day you just the left side is more of like the motivational side the right side is more of like your hustle to-do list hourly all that i have a whole video um on that i'll have it linked down below just like plan with me literally using that planner and you guys are probably tired of me talking about it but i wanted to shout it out because I truly use it every morning with my cup of coffee. It's like the best way to start the day. A new, different, inspiring quote on each page. So yeah, I just wanted to let you guys know that we will be restocking tomorrow. So Sunday, December 13th, I believe it is, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time on doingwelldaily.com. My book will be live. We are releasing more this time, so we have a bigger drop. So hopefully more of you guys will have the opportunity to get your day books. And yeah, when you guys do start to get them, please tag me in your stories. Like, I want to see them. I am so excited to hear how you guys like them and they're just, they're just awesome next up we are gonna go into fashion i have a lot of fashion favorites accessories whatever maybe shoes all that i've just gotten really into fashion recently i it just 
I've always loved fashion, but I've really just decided to kind of just be bolder because like I'm obviously at college and I feel like a lot of people just, you know, will wear like t-shirts, shorts or sweatpants, whatever. And well, sweatpants are kind of trendy right now. So maybe that is why I'm getting more into it because it's like, oh yeah, wearing sweatpants is trendy, but who knows? Who cares? It's okay. I'm into it regardless. And I've just been really enjoying kind of playing with different pieces. So I have some pieces that have been a staple in my wardrobe lately that I wanted to share with you guys. Probably the biggest staple right now for this winter, fall, is it? I don't think it's winter winter yet but you know fall winter time my leggings from commando and spanx i'll link them both down below i have two favorites so for the just like faux leather look i love mine from commando they are the most flattering thing ever they are high-waisted they cut so well they are so flattering they look so good with a blouse, with a sweater, with a sweatshirt, and booties. Like, these, I literally wear these, like, every day. The same thing as last winter. I wore these every day. They're just, they just go with everything, and they look so sleek. They make your legs look so good. And then on the other side of the spectrum, I really like my other black. They're faux patent leather leggings from Spanx. Um, I love those. They're, so, they're literally the most like shiny, most obnoxious things ever, but they look so cool. They're great if you want to wear like a statement sweater and those leggings and boots and you're like good to go. So those are two, like those are pretty much the only pants. Those and like a couple pairs of jeans and then sweatpants are like what I've been wearing. <laughs> this tank top from Revolve, I am obsessed with. It is so flattering. I love the cut. Obviously you're like, Danielle, like it's winter. Why are you wearing tank tops? I do live in the South, so it is a little bit warmer and I can get away with it. I've been wearing it. I actually did wear this on Thanksgiving on its own, but you could also wear it with like a flannel or a denim jacket. Um, and it's just so cute. I just love the cut. It's nice for just lounging around as well. Cause obviously we're working from home a lot more. So sometimes I want to feel good about myself, but still be comfortable. So I'll wear like, it's just like this thermal tank. And I just love how it cuts on the side. Wear that with some like tan sweatpants like I am right now and add some gold jewelry and you'll feel so put together yet really cute and trendy at the same time. Next up, a black sweatsuit of any sort, any brand, wherever. I'll link down one down below. I think the one that I have is probably sold out. I'm not really sure, but a black sweat set is just what you need in your life. Like a good black hoodie with black sweatpants. You can wear them together, add a blazer, and you're like good to go. Super cute. Or wear it on its own with like some cool sneakers, hair in a bun, sunglasses, earrings. Or you can wear them separately, which I've been doing, wearing just like black sweatpants with like a crop top total move. So really just any sort of jogger sweatpants set I think is so great right now and it's thankfully like really on trend and you feel really put together at the same time. Last clothing item is a puffer jacket. Um, I have a lot of puffers right now. However, I've been wearing this one from Princess Polly a lot. It's like a black faux leather puffer. It's the perfect amount of warmth, yet it also looks kind of chic at the same time. I wore it over like a sweat set and it looked really cute with like a beanie and sneakers. It was so comfortable and I love how it zips up if I need. It's just puffers are just so warm and they also are just so cute and they just make you want to like hug people. I don't know. Maybe that's just me, but puffers are a move. They're great. That's the one I've been loving right now. As for accessories, we've got a couple. One, I have been, ever since I bought this purse, I literally use it all the time. I am really into, I used to be in a crossbody phase for like a really long time. Then I kind of went for the belt bag and now I'm on a shoulder bag vibe. I don't know what, what vibe you guys are on right now, but that's what I'm at. I love just like throwing a ton of things in this little shoulder bag and just throwing it over my shoulder and it's just there to go. It's a smaller one, so it just fits, you know, my wallet, my phone, sunglasses, hand sanitizer, and a mask, but that's all I need these days. This white one from Urban Outfitters is so cute, and they have so many colors, like so many, and it zips, which is nice if you don't want things to fall out. It's just like, it literally immediately makes, I, I, it's right here, like you just like pop it on, and it's like, oh hey, I don't know, you just kind of look like you're like probably cooler than you actually are. I mean, that's how I feel when I wear it. I'm like, I'm cool, but I'm not actually that cool. Um, they have a black one, they have a yellow one that I'm really interested in, and they're so inexpensive too, you know, like, I have like a good amount of designer bags and I find myself um, wearing that one genuinely the most. You can ask my roommate. Like it's just like such a good bag and I have the white one, but like I said, they have tons of colors. They have different like prints and it's such a cute bag. Like it has been the bag of the season for me. Next up, any sort of mid-sized gold hoops I've been wearing pretty much every day. I used to only wear gold hoops when I was like getting really dressed up and then I was like, wait, but they're so cute and it's like totally okay to wear them again with more casual outfits. I feel like that's just been what it is this year. So like these are like definitely a little bit more smaller. These are from Love AJ, but then I love like the, like just a little bit bigger than this hollow gold hoops. 
oh my gosh there are some on amazon i'll link a couple options for you guys down below there's a pair from amazon that i have my eye on i have another pair from 60 stacks on instagram that you guys see me wear all the time if you want to go more expensive there's jennifer fisher there's really so many different options like you can't really go wrong but a good gold hoop if you like to wear gold jewelry is just so oh my gosh it has been such a staple for me i like feel so put together sometimes i'll just put on my blue light glasses and gold hoops for my zoom meetings and i just feel so prepared a pair of sunglasses that i've been wearing a lot are my key hindsight sunglasses so they're from the brand key and the name of the sunglasses are called the hindsight they're big they're huge they're so obnoxious but i love them i feel like really cool when i wear them wear them it's just nice if you're not wearing makeup or something and like you're just running an errand or whatever and you just pop those bad boys on and you feel like a baddie i just can't lie so they're just great and i feel like they immediately kind of elevate an, out an outfit too so definitely check those out a lot of people have been asking about those so i'll have those linked down below as well oh on my head this beanie this is more of a recent favorite i i actually got this two days ago but I just know I'm going to wear it a lot, so I just wanted to include it since I was wearing it. I figured people are probably going to ask about it anyways. It's just this, like, I guess it's like a little off-white beanie. Um, it's from Urban Outfitters. I'll have it linked down below. It's called the Icon Beanie, and they have a ton of different ones. So I got the Smiley Face one because it reminds me of Justin Bieber's Drew House brand. But um, they also have, like, a butterfly. They also have other things, too. I know they have a butterfly. I just can't remember what else they have. Um, so I'll have that linked down below for you guys. But I love it. It's officially beanie season again. If you guys didn't know, I also just got my hair cut. And so I feel like it's kind of fun with the short hair. Last fashion favorite are my ROC boots or rock boots. I don't really know. I got these last winter as well and I have not stopped wearing them. Anytime I want to like elevate an outfit or if I want a little height, I wear these. They are so comfortable. I could walk hours and then when I visited Brooke back when she used to live in Boston in February, um, we walked all day every day in them. She actually has the same boots. I'm like almost, yeah, she definitely has the same boots and we got them on Princess Polly. I'm just, I, I only wear shoes that are comfortable. I can't do the whole like take them off. Like I want to buy shoes that I know I'm going to wear them and they're going to be comfortable because it's just so important and it's just nice to I don't know I just like to be confident and these are basically platform combat boots they go with so many different outfits I love wearing them with my commando leggings or my shiny ones from Spanx and like a sweater or like a crop top like oh my gosh there's so many ways to <laughs> it's a good one so that's all for fashion and then as for music favorites I have like a playlist on Spotify that I just called recently actually a couple of you guys are following it um and it only has like eight songs, but those are like the eight songs that I've been listening to on repeat recently. Um, I've been listening to Ariana Grande's album, A Crap Ton. That's definitely going to be on my top songs list next year. I also been listening to my top, what is it, top 100? Your top songs of 2020. I've been listening to that like crazy. I love it. My top song of this year, surprisingly, was Yummy by Justin Bieber. My number two was Pop Star by Drake, which I thought that was going to be number one, but it makes sense. The first half of the year, I listened to a lot of Justin Bieber. And now I'm like on a Drake vibe, but I'm kind of getting back to the Justin Bieber, Ariana Grande situation. Um, but yeah, I'll have that playlist linked down below if you guys care. My music taste kind of ranges. I, I genuinely probably say I'd put myself in like a hip hop rap situation, but I also really like country, but then like more alternative. I don't really know what my, I really just like everything except for pretty much rock. I don't really like rock. But yeah, I really like that song Beware by Big Sean. I like the song Gucci Book I Hat. I like the song Zaza. Nasty Ariana Grande. I found this artist named Mike. It's just Mike with a dot and his songs are so good It's just like good feel good kind of like if you guys know who Skizzy Mars is I have loved Skizzy Mars since like freshman year of high school and This guy Mike kind of reminds me of him. I have a song by Feli on there kind of like a random playlist But all right, you guys we did it. I hope you all enjoyed this fun little favorites video I love doing these every now and then just to check in and be like these are the things I've been using and obsessed with so I love you guys so much. Thanks so much for watching. Subscribe down below. You won't regret it. Remember, restock of the planner tomorrow, Sunday, 4 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. I'll remind you guys on my Instagram, which is at Danielle Carolyn. And yeah, I think that's all I've got for you guys today. I love you all. Have an amazing day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.